Good morning. I'm Linda Cullen from Crafty, Crafty Stamp, and this is Gianna Malone from Hi. GG Stamps, and this is Coffee and Crafts. Good morning. Welcome. Hi. So, it is Friday, and it seems like every day I say the same for Friday. It's Friday, thank God. Um, <laughs> but, like I said, I'm always fixed with coffee and a craft. So, <laughs> so today I got a special treat for you today. So I got my pre-order, which I got behind me. So we're going to kind of show Yay! that off and I, we're going to make a card with one of the pre-order items. You ready? Here we go. Let's see. It's, it's a little action guy. Whee! <laughs> Spinning snowman. So, Ooh, so oh, someone's calling Gianna. They like the spinning snowman hey, so I, much. I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. So that is what we're going to make today. So welcome everybody. I see Janice and JB Designs and Rosemary, Donna, Robin, Aaliyah, Rachel, Pauline. Hello and welcome. So let's start off. So as usual, I'm so thrilled that you all are here. And if we are going to do a couple giveaways. So if you would leave a comment in the comment section, you will be eligible for a live giveaway. Um, oh, Gianna's Sorry. back. Sorry. Phone son. <laughs> um, you'll be eligible for a live giveaway, and that live giveaway is the Glimmer Enamel Dots. And <clears throat> we also will have a, okay, now that. All right, so it's my turn. Um, we have a lot of shares. Good. Um, we have somebody from Utah, Ooh. and Rachel's with us already. Yeah. And Sandy is with us. Oh, welcome. So our watch later giveaway is the Joyful Nativity. Seeing I'm doing a little bit of a Christmas theme today. So this is retired from last year. Joyful Nativity. And to be eligible for this, we will pick this winner on next Friday's broadcast, which is the 11th of August. When did we end up flipping through? Oh, good half of me. When did we end up flipping through August so quickly? Oh, my hands. Um, and... So, to be eligible to for the watch live, leave a comment here if you're watching it live or if you're watching it later in the rebroadcast, either on Facebook or YouTube. And if you share this video, please go in and say shared, and I will throw in a second entry for you in that giveaway for the 11th. Shared with a D. With a D. S H A R. A-R-E-D. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> all of a sudden we get Second grade shared. teacher. Um, um, we yeah. have Staten Island, New York. We have Rhode Island. Lots of people sharing. Awesome. So just Oklahoma. so you know, FYI, I pull the winners in the usually the morning of. So basically I consider the entries closed. Let's say, so if I'm picking up for, if I'm doing a giveaway on Friday, I close the basically Thursday night. Pick the, uh, pick the list Friday morning. Generally how it goes. We hope that doesn't ever run into a problem, but that's how it works, just FYI. I'm going to be doing mine from Ooh. last night, uh, last Friday. I'm closing it as soon as we get finished here. Uh, so Gianna will be live tonight at 7 on yes. Gigi Stamps. So please head over there. She will use it scheduled yet? It's scheduled. So you can it's go over there I did that. and I that one. select get a reminder so you can uh, see what she is doing over there. So let's uh, do a little quick housekeeping. Um, so if you haven't heard the absolutely <laughs> unbelievably amazing holiday catalog, it is, so that if you're a demonstrator, you have been able to pre-order and you probably are either, I know some people are still waiting for their order to get out of picking, or if you expedited it, you probably have it. So if you join to be a demonstrator, you can select items from this catalog into your, uh, starter kit. So that is an awesome deal and you can get stuff immediately. If you are a customer, you can start ordering from this on September 1st. If you need one of these catalogs, up in the link up above the description of this video is a link where you can order it. Or if you want to head over, you can go to Gigi and send her an email and she will send you one as well. Um, so that is awesome. And also, as a quick sneak peek, um, Stampin' Up! has put out one bundle early, so you can get the stamp set, the dies, or, or it as a bundle and save 10% of the Carols of Christmas. And this is a cute little stamp set, and the dies are they're called card fronts. You can use them for anything. Oh my God, it is so adorable. So it, I, I'm working on a couple cards for my club to, with this stuff. So those are our quick housekeeping, what's going on. Um, I also wanted to let you know, stay tuned. I plan on doing another 
product share, a uh, ribbon and uh, paper and maybe uh, accessories. I don't know yet. Um, so I'm working on that over the weekend. So if you're interested in getting in some product shares, um, stay tuned. It's uh, a fabulous idea. It's, yeah. So you get a little bit of everything you can try it out, uh, start planning your Christmas cards. So that will be coming out. So first, let's pick a winner from our last week's, oh, you want to grab the stamp set? Oh, it's in the metal bin there. Yeah, which one is it? Uh, Serene Silhouettes. So we are picking from last Friday, the Serene Silhouettes. And I'm going to come over here. So the, we're picking the Serene Silhouettes. And this was from the 8, oh no, 728 episode. And again, here is everyone's names. You get one entry if you commented on YouTube or Facebook, and you get a second if you shared and said shared. So, so we have a lot of people. There's who a have lot. Been I will sharing. tell you, thank you, everybody. A lot of people sharing, and more people commenting. And thank you because all that shares is helping. And I getting a lot of people. Oh, I just found you. I love this. So thank you so so much. I so. Can I, while you're doing that, yep. let you know that a lot of our demonstrators on here are talking about the catalog. Some awesome. people said they need the Nutcracker set. And a couple yeah, that's other cute. Things. That's cute. So and of course, I, I can't show you everything. I can't show you the catalog. Can, but if you join our team, you and join. I can say our team because she yes, is my we're, Yeah, <laughs> we're a team. We're a team. <laughs> we are a team. But if yep. you join us, you can see this. You too. Um, so I know that they're talking about it. So think about it. Go right to craftystampin.com and or you can join the team stamps. or Gigi Stamps. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to pick a winner. Whoever's name shows up on top is the winner. Ready? Go. Sandy! Hey, Sandy's Sandy. on here. I know she is. Sandy's yes. on our team. Congratulations, Sandy. So, Sandy, fill up my form. You know, yeah, I think you've done it before. So, <laughs> Sandy is our winner there. It was not Mary Co. Mary Co. I, it was not Mary Co. Love Mary Co. She's I, adorable. I, 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 <laughs> if you know Mary, you want to... Oh, I'm going to be switch this back over here. You want to like, yes. <laughs> rub a little on the side because you want a little bit of her luck. She's yes. been very lucky. <laughs> so... Um, let's, let's, I want to show off a few of, the, so here's the thing. I usually buy a huge box from pre-orders, but I'm going on vacation for 10 days in August. And so I have to get an entire month's worth of work done in a week. So I'm working on tutorials and swaps and, you know, making sure my blog so that you guys don't really notice I'm gone. <laughs> so I didn't buy that much. So I don't have the whole ring and roll, but I do have some really cool stuff that I just wanted to share. Kind of give you a little taste, um, of what is coming in the... Uh, Josh, go ahead. Your camera. Um, what is coming in the holiday catalog? So, do you want me to be handing to you? So, why don't we? I, I didn't do these in any particular order. So, here is, let me, maybe we'll do close up. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So, this is an utterly adorable set Christmas in the Making. We got a little bit of, I think it's, it's like 40s, 50s theme, like Mad Men, you know, yeah. styling in portions of this catalog. So this, I thought these were just utterly adorable. And then also, this is one of the bundles. It's called Snowflake Sentiments. And it's got some really, I love fonts. I'm really big on the graphics of a font. So these are just adorable. But the big deal with this are these And I, I got this bundle too. I can't wait to play with it because okay. I love Snowflake. So... I know they're like, so we got a tag and there's this little strip. So it'd give you like the dot sort of like on our stitched, uh, shaped, uh, elements and some floors, but it's this right here. And so I had to, uh, play with it, play with it a little bit. So here it is. I did it on Navy and it doesn't actually cut out. You can cut it out, but it doesn't. But so now I didn't do this in advance cause I wanted to do it live is of course, watch me screw it up. Um, is to pull this out. So let me do, 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 find Stamp. some scissors. Yep. So I can get it out of there. Um, so that's what it looks like when you die cut it. So here, there is the die. Super duper pretty. But then it's got this other die that has this detail. And if I layer the two it's a yummy yeah. yummy 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 it's oh, so beautiful okay so 
You see why I picked that one. So this And is, then if you use this piece at the other end, yeah. you will have a finished edge that'll uh so gorgeous. many options. Gorgeous. Loving, loving, loving. Okay, so then we have again we're gonna try and do these quick because uh, you know we keep you on all day. So here is this is a little bundle. Again, 10% on the bundle. This is the Merry Little Labels, and it comes with a matching punch. There's a few of these that also work with some circles and some ovals. Super duper cute. And this is the Everyday Label Punch, because we need more punches. Yes. I love punches. Um, okay. I'm doing these in no order. So here we have Count My Blessings. So this is sort of in the fall theme. Let me move this over here so you can see. Look at these adorable little acorns. Um, and it says, when I count my blessings, you are on the top of my list. Um, and some just dainty, really, really pretty images on that one. Perfect for watercolor. Watercolor, yes. I can't wait. So here's another one. This is Heart, Hearts Come Home. A lot of cute. We got the Santa and some moon and whatever and the buildings and really cute sayings. But again, here's another one. And I didn't cut this one. I didn't cut them all out. I just really kind of got the box. Here are, these are edgelets with different buildings. And we got the stars, we got some smaller buildings, an utterly adorable tag top. Um, we got a church, some other building, uh, absolutely adorable. So these two, again, now another bundle um, that can go together uh, at 10% savings. Yeah, so let's put those back in here. And... Uh, I Another bundle, because yeah, I feel like, what's that, Flo? The bundler! Um, <laughs> this I is know. Painted Harvest, and I wish I had a sample of this. These look, they kind of will add like a 3D like look. Was there somebody here? To... No, I was just saying that um, Kim Nesbitt um, noticed, and I did too, that the last one yep. reminded us of the paper pumpkin from last Ooh. Christmas. Oh, it yeah. Was. yeah. And yeah. I, I thought about that, and I thought that paper pumpkin um, sold out almost immediately. Oh, so maybe something that's real popular, they, they you know, they'll take it. Yeah. So here's Painted Harvest, and then I'm going to save that one for last. So let's... Right. So here is, so I have three of the ribbons. This one is big and yummy. This is striped ribbon. It's black and white. It has some wire in it, so it will hold shape. So if you're it's making great bows. Body. Yeah. Yeah, so that one's adorable. This one is called Quilted Christmas Ribbon. Yeah, it's very gentle. And it's gentle. got, you know, like uh, red and olive, and it's, it looks like a white base. So that one's super pretty. And then this one is just, simple name, Solid Ribbon in real red. Um, it's probably an eighth of an inch. Yeah. Boom. There's a few others that I didn't get, which now I'm upset that I didn't get them. She's going to my house. I'm to going to her them. house. <laughs> see uh, and um, then here's a quick, quick view of some of the papers. So this is, look how shiny you can see me in the ooh, mm. reflection. This is our new champagne foil paper. Yeah, I don't know if I got that or not. I don't so remember. So it, it's kind of like a happy wedding between copper and silver. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, it is just, it's stunning. It's beautiful. So I'm trying to treat it also gently here so it doesn't get all nicked up. All scuffed up. Yeah. Okay, so here is, this one is called Merry Music Specialty Paper. So this paper is a little thinner. I think we had a newsprint a couple years ago that was like this. And so it's got, we got jingle bells, um, some music notes. So I think there's, so it's a little thinner. There seems to be four of each sheet. Um, there's deck another the one, Deck the Halls. Um, and so my daughter is a musician performer, so I had to get this just because of yeah, her. More music, and the back's got more music. It's just pretty. And then we oh, have so here's uh, black on white, white, yeah, and then uh, white, white on, on black. black. And this is in a different language, so that's kind of cool. That look French. Yes, it's French. Yep. So real, real, um, real pretty. Um, Go great with the little reds town and of whatever. Bethlehem is in there. And yep. So, like I said, I don't want to spend adorable. tons of time because I don't want y'all. You want to see my card? <laughs> uh, this one 
is called Little uh, Merry Little Christmas. Yes, oh, these nice are out. beautiful. Um, and all right, I love. Let me back this up out. Transition over here. Um, this is a buffalo gingham buff buffalo plaid uh -huh. buffalo gingham oh my god i love love this so let's see we got and then it's got black so we got olive old olive black and white right old olive black and whisper white yes so here we got stars we got some stripes and polka dots that Ooh. leaf that goes with Ooh, leaf. is that the punch it, no. no it, it's not quite, but it's very similar to that, um, the sunflower, right? Was that the sunflower? Could, could be, yeah. It, and then another buffalo rubber. check. Yeah. Big stripes, big bold. And the fun thing is, if you don't use this all at Christmas, you could use this outside of a holiday. Like, yes. these are great um, Like, this patterns. one could definitely go with fall, fall or spring. And that's, or spring, yeah. This is So, this is definitely a multi-use. Mm -hmm. um, um, and Halloween? Halloween. Rachel yeah. mentioned Halloween. Oh, I didn't get the Halloween paper either. This is what I, I, I planned out my swaps. Literally took a, printed out the pages of the ca catalog on my black and white printer and then cut them out like paper dolls and taped them onto scrap paper, trying to plan them out so that I only bought what I needed to buy and now I'm upset that I didn't buy more. So, so she's coming to look at me and uh, unbox mine, which and came I'll last night. And I'll probably too. end up putting in another order before I leave <laughs> on vacation. This is amazing. That I is love super that. good. So here's more of that Mad Men sort of era shapes and graphics yeah. and type font. Um, super, oh, so you can see both. Super, super yummy papers. I love, love the love, Nutcrackers. Love, love that. So, so good. And look at that plaid. Ooh, awesome. Yummy. And ooh, food. Yeah. Ooh, food. You know, this reminds me of like wallpaper from the yeah. We're 40s going and retro. 50s. Definitely yeah. retro. Um, oh, my... I love that. That's adorable. Yes. So, so sweet. sweet cars, and you got the telephone booth from um, Britain. Yeah, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Yeah. If it was what Tardis. The Tardis. It's Tardis. blue. And it's Tardis. Yeah. All right, and. A lot of people saying that they love the sayings there, and the plaid is their favorite. The plaid is yummy. All right. Wait, I'm about to change your favorite. But yeah, it doesn't is, matter, because this is fall. Yes. So this one is called Painted Autumn, and our colors... Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, Daffodil Delight, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lime Twist, Peekaboo Peach, Soft Sky, Tangerine Tango, and Berry Vanilla. You're Plays going to be able everyone. to mix this one so easily. Plays well together with others. Plays well, yeah. So here are just some uber yubby. I absolutely adore. Absolutely yeah. adore this. Uh, this Look it, at those pumpkins. It kind of makes me eager for fall to show up. But I haven't gone on my summer vacation yet, so not just yet. Yes. Um, oh, I love that yeah. dot. That's just The colors are just so warm and yummy, and the acorns... Um, so I know our design artists actually hand paint yeah. quite a few of our designers series papers and then they print based on those hand watercolor papers. Yeah. Okay. Right, I love favorite. sunflowers. Is that not just stunning? Like yeah. utterly, utterly stunning. And here's the back. Oh. I may have to just buy another pack and like wallpaper a small section of my room yeah. with that yummy paper. And here's the last one I have. This is a specialty oh, yeah. paper. And Gorgeous. so the specialty papers are only on one side. So they are blank on the other side. So there's no worry about which side am I going to use. That kind of goes away. And this has the foil, and we see this one's gold and silver, but I think there's different colors of foil. And this is a nice thick paper, so you can easily make a box yes. with this. This is fabulous. Oh, I love this gold gingham. Oh, Ooh, yummy. Just gorgeous. So, and all right, so here's, uh, and here's copper. This is. And you have just copper. Do we have a punch or a thing that no, is similar you, to this? So you used it with the Oh, pies. I did then the pretty pines what I did with the um card last yeah on Wednesday. That is a similar shape. Yes it is. So we can have it's not the same, but we can definitely How many in this pack? 1 2 3 Looks like there's 3 per design and then 1 Two, two, three. I think 
12. four. So it would be 12 pieces, four designs, three of each. And this That's matches, silver. This, yeah. this matches a uh, stamp. There's yeah. a stamp with this. Which reminds me, going back to Paper Pumpkin, of the donut. Yes. You know, and who would have thought some of the images in the donut would turn out to be a great, like, wedding. So pretty. Okay, and so last but not least is the one we're going to work with today. And this one was my, I just, I, okay, I saw him and went, got to have it. <laughs> so this is kind of very similar. It's a tag. So this is seasonal chums and it's seasonal tags goes with it. So these are very similar. You get the front and the back and the dies are, it's so I cute. haven't done my magnetic sheets on these yet. The dies uh, cut out front and back. Um, so you can fold them in half and make a, a tag. And so, I believe the stamps are front and back too. The stamps are front and back. Yes. Yeah. So this so would go fit right over. Yeah. So you don't have to. Ma'am. So this goes it. right over here. Yeah. So the stamp goes down just super like that. Super easy. Super it's cute. Really so this easy. is what we're going to work with right now. Okay. So. All right. Let me stick these over here. Okay. And, and I'm not keeping up here. It did okay. remind me of the donut too. That was Karen Alterman. Um, and, and this new stamp set, we got a lot. Um, yay for copper, I said Mary uh, Co. Yeah, I like the copper too, Mary. I think that's an excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so I'm scoring. Again, I've done four and a quarter by 11, and I'm scoring it in half at five and a half. Uh, Kathy Nelson said, Linz says that those would make cute place cards. Oh, what a great idea a to put on your table. Idea. I love right. that. I, you know, I passed on the stamp, this stamp set the first time around. It may not happen the second time around. <laughs> I know. I am already working on my second order in my head. I'm trying not to before I go on vacation. It just seems inappropriate before I go on vacation to buy um, hundreds of dollars of stamps. But, you know, it, it happens. Will you be easily able to fussy cut the sunflower? We have a punch that goes kind of uh, the sunflower paper. This, uh, oh, the sunflower paper or the stamp? So stamp, we have a punch that goes no, with. No, we don't. Or we have a... Are, are we, well, are we talking about this sunflower? Because, I, yes, you'll be able to, you know... Easily cut I could it. just cut a circle around it right. and make it work. Um, if we're talking about the paper... Hold on. I don't want to get these all out of order. Hold on. So, for time of the paper, because this is my favorite. Oh, that's right. The punch has the leaves, not the... Yeah, the, there's a punch with leaves that goes with it. It's not in the, the sunflower. Bundle. It's part of the bundle. So, there's yeah, a leaf. There's not a sunflower. We've seen but, it for all of four days. Yeah, so, so the stamp... Yeah, you got... I don't see why you couldn't cut it yeah. out. It's You're going to be going in and out, or cut it out with a circle. That's what I would do. Karen says, uh, as you uh, stamping up did, uh, did themselves, I want it all again. I, I hear you. Yes, we are all uh, there. I keep saying I want one catalog to suck so that, oh, I don't have to buy much. But it has never happened. Yeah, me. no. They no. get better. So I am, oh, I am out of dead man. Hold on. Hold on. Dead soldier. <laughs> new, new snail. All right. So first thing I'm doing. So here's my base, and I'm attaching a... Whisper white that's cut one eighth smaller, and like usual, that I hit it. I have a PDF available, and that'll be on my blog, and it has all the cuts and all the products. I'm, well, it has all the products except for the two new ones because the system I'm using now won't let me put those in. So I'll have to make a little note on my thing. So we're gonna I'm gonna set that aside for a second. And then I've got this DSP. This is the current in the holiday, in the annual catalog DSP. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to attach this to this. And then I'm going to play my tricks. So we need I need the big shot. And I need, I believe, this oval. When you clear, I'll put. Yep. Okay. All right. So. Here's what we're going to do. Let me... It is dar darling card. It is super cute. So what I want to do... So Donna was wondering if it was the stamp that you could easily fussy cut. I don't see... You know what? I will try that. You can. I, I, I think you definitely can. I think you can. Would you want to do a lot of them? No. This is when I get creative and I go with um, uh, circle 
it look, you know, put it in the middle of a circle. All right, so I've held this down. I've kind of lined it up. I do have both pieces, the DSP and the cardstock, um, adhered together. So my goal is to get them to cut together. And I've got them out, so we're going to run it through. It's going to be a smidge thick. All right. And... All right, so here, here is that. Uh, take off my post-it notes, pop this out, and out pops my my hole. All right, here comes the trick. Right, can you see me over here? All right, so now what I want to do, I'm going to take a little bit of snail. Let's see if you can see that. So I did Just smidge of snail, smidge. smidge here, and I'm even going to use my finger, and I kind of want to... I don't want to make it as sticky as it normally would be because I only want to put it temporarily. So let me slide this a little to the side so you can see. Close this up. There we go. So I'm now going to place it where She's I want it. She's only cutting two pieces at a time. At a time. And I, I'll show you. Here, so I'm going to put that this way. I'm going to dig, bring back my die, and I'm going to put my die right in the same hole and I can kind of wiggle it. This is the third largest oval. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to, uh, cause it'll screw up because I'm live. So we'll just yes. put our <laughs> post-it notes back so I don't have to go cut a whole new set of people. Yeah. <laughs> and notice how she's letting the back end of the car just hang out there. Yep. All right. So now it probably will not have cut all the way through. I'm not expecting it to. So here's remove my post-it notes, remove my die, and it didn't, which is fine, which is why I'm now removing this. This is why I wanted it. There we go. So now, but I now I have exactly where I want it, because it cut through the whisper white. I'm going to do my fancy little dance here again. Do it this way so it fits. Line it back up. There it goes. And you can feel it when it falls yeah, it, into the it groove. It slides right into place. And now I'm going to run through for a third time. But that's how I get it and get them all lined up. Otherwise, they'd be all over the place. Yeah. Look like a kaleidoscope, you know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so. And save that piece for something else. Absolutely. Often times, we, you yep. know, we've already got it planned. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, most of, So here you go. You got a white with a red on the back, and you got the DSP with the red on the back. So we save those. I'm going to throw that yep. up there. So here, so ta-da, they all line up nice and centered just where I want them. So we're going to set that aside for a minute. We're done with this. We're done for the moment while we, while we play with Mr. Snowman. Yes. All right. So let's see. Let me bring you back over here. So now here's my snowman stamp and he's all together, both front and back. And this is one I usually like, I'll cut some stamps apart and whatever. I wouldn't because this lines up perfectly with the um, framelit. So he is staying together, whether or not I use front and back or not. So I'm inking him up with the archival and you can see where I cut him earlier today. This is the shimmery white because I'm going to we kind of watercolor him with the blender pens because oh, um, okay. I get a little more control with the oh, blender pens. So there we go. So let me put my black um, away. So Barbara Stike says you are so creative, and I agree. Thank you. I, she is just sometimes blows me away. <laughs> so here's here's my color palette. So I'm going to use Marina Mist, and that's going to go on. There's a little bird on the back of his hat that's going there. I got cherry cobbler because that matches with my paper. We're gonna use it on the mittens or the um, hat and the scarf. I got crumb cake. Uh, color. Oh, let's spin him around. Color little bunny with crumb cake, so he stands out. Garden green. That's also on the DSP, and we're gonna use that on his mittens. And then tangerine tango because he's got a carrot nose. So we'll start with that. I always like to start sometimes with the smaller ones. And what do you need? I got a little piece of scrap, scrap paper, paper so I can 
wipe off in between. So let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. And find that the thick white works with the aqua painters and the blender pens work pretty well with the thick white. Oh, okay, there you go, yep. So there's okay. his nose. I did a dark line on the bottom and then just kind of colored the top a smidge, leaving it as a little white on the very top. So it looks like the sun's hitting him on the nose. Mm -hmm. All right, so next, let's do my little bluebird here. So that this is Marina Miss. And again, I squeeze my ink pad so that the ink shows up on the top. For that much ink, I can guarantee you I probably couldn't get it to work one day or I was using so much, I used my reinker and dropped it right in the top. And you can do that too. So here we go. I'm going to do my bluebird. Make sure you can see me. And so adorable. Isn't he cute? And so she just started at the top with the, the darker and then just let it pull down. Yep. And then try and put a little darker on the bottom. Uh -huh. So it kind of, again, light on the top of him versus adorable. the bottom. Oh, California and has just joined I love us. California. Um, yeah. This is adorable. So, There's no question about it. Super duper cute. She's cleaning her pen because yep. she's switching to a different color. Yep. And the fun thing with the blender pen is I'm using the same pen for all the colors. And just in between, I'm scrubbing it or scrubbing it. I'm wiping it on a piece of scrap paper. So next we're going to do crumb cake and we're going to do the little bunny. And the bunny's on the back and on the front because he's kind of holding on, peeking around. Um, it's adorable. So again, here I'm just going to take a little. Pull this over. Tina Sharon, thank you thank so you. much. All right, so let's try down here and color him. This is one, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the color. I try sometimes. I just don't want it to be white. I want him to be set off from the snowman, who uh, who's, the, who's the white star. He's like in the wedding dress, so yeah. the guests can't wear white. So the bunny can't be white. Mary just joined us from Idaho. Hi, and Mary. Lots of shares. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm, I don't have your picture up here. Oh, I, I know. Somehow, somehow, my, my and so If I, you ever have a problem with audio and visual, get out and come back in. It's, yes. I've kicked my kids off all the internet in the house, so it's not it's not me. So I can read from here, but to see yep. the picture, I have to look over there. Yeah, see where we are, because we, are, we operate a bit on a delay. So here I'm just doing my bunny on the front. Can you see him? Yes, you can. Okay. Peggy Williams joined us. Hi, Peggy. And there we go. All right. So there is my bunny rabbit. I just shared and Kathleen just Thank joined you. us. Thank you. Welcome. I'm welcome, reading welcome. backwards. That's okay. We are coloring the snowman from the new, there is, <laughs> from the new or up Seasonal Chums from the Holiday Catalog. This is an adorable set. I looked at it twice and I'm like, okay, I need to stop. All right. yes. <laughs> I know, that we is all our say problem. that. that they need our... a button. It's like, I'll take one for everything. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to work with the Garden Green and I'm going to do his mittens. And I'm actually going to pick up a lot of ink because I just want this to be nice and dark. Nice and dark. As a kid, I had an aunt who um, every Christmas, all the all the nieces and nephews, and there was a lot of us, we all got mittens. And they were the, you know, hand knit with a stripe. And so these, when I was doing these last night, I'm like, it just reminded me of being a kid. And, you know, every Christmas we couldn't wait to get there. We all knew we were getting mittens. <laughs> every one of us. It's like... Um... It was more of like, and I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I had had them from when I was a little kid to, you know, adult size. I wish I had kept them or my mother had kept them because it would have been a special thing to have because that's, that's, ask any of my cousins. We all got mittens. You missed one of those. I missed a little spot. All right, let's do it here. Getting hot in here. Um, Tina is like, I wasn't sold on the set, but boy, am I now. Yeah, so now I'm going to, so I did the front. Now I got to do the back of his mittens. All right. When I saw the mittens, it reminded me of um, the Harry Potter sweaters that uh, oh, Mrs. Weasley. the maroon and the yellow. Yes. Yeah. No, no, the ones that Mrs. Weasley knitted oh, for everybody at Christmas that's right, time. That's right. The hand. 
Yes. There we go. All right. So now the only other green thing is there's a leaf in his hat. But to separate it from these that I've made very dark, I'm going to just take a little and then do these light. Very good. So very cool. Yeah, so it's the same color, but a different depth of uh -huh. value. Yeah. There we go. All nice. Right. All right, so there's our green. And now last, the cherry cobbler. Okay, so let's start with the hat. And you can see me. Okay, so there's a couple berries. So we'll get those nice Do and you use archival black with a blender pen? I do. You do. I do. And I'm also, there's a stripe, the band yeah. on the hat. So I'm going to do that. The only reason I ask that question is because I have not used the archival black with blender, blender pen. And, um, yep. I, uh, it won't bleed. It so won't bleed. it won't bleed. So I will use that watercoloring or blender pen. I will use it. Uh huh. Yep. All right. So there is the hat. So now I'm going to do his scarf. So we're going to start real dark and do the fringe first. Let me just make sure I'm in screen. Do that. Yeah. Cherry Cobbler has been one of Linda's favorites for ever. ever. You take this Cherry Cobbler, you walk out to my living room and look at my couch. It's the same color. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. It's absolutely adorable. Um, but it was one of the first ones that um, Linda was like, oh, I love I this color. I have to have this color. All right. So. Well, that and an old color, the poppy. Was poppy. That? I loved poppy. I like reds. Yes. All right. Let's go. Good morning, Kathy. And hello from Wanda. Rainer just uh, joined us from Mississippi. Hello. And I'm just like. Coloring like every other spot on his scarf. And I have to say, I'm not doing as good a job as I did earlier because I tried to, but I'm like, try, I also don't like keep you on here for four hours while I color. So I'm trying to, I want it darker on one end and then go light on the side, on the one edge. Well, Beth is like, I love all the regals, they yeah. are beautiful. Um, I love this set. It would make great tags. That's one of the things it talks about is making yep. tags with this. Kind of what it's designed for is um, making tags. But then there's so many options. I know. So many. All right. And, boom. and All right. There's a quick coloring job. So that, that's it. He's done. Kathy's oh. also said, or cut a strip and adhere to the bottom and make them stand up. Yes, she could. Absolutely. Yeah, that would be good. Um, yeah. All right. Adorable. Hot, hot yeah. in here. Okay. <laughs> Can't you all feel it? <laughs> Do we need this Let's back? see. I need the big shot back, if you don't mind. Nope. Just have to make sure I don't. Whoop. There it goes. Now we're throwing plates around. Yeah. Ugh. Like a Greek wedding. Humpa. <laughs> Humpa. No, I'm yeah, not Greek. I just did a, a thousand squats at my... Jim, okay. so I'm like, okay, I can't move now. <laughs> All right, so I gotta make sure I line them up with the bunny. Okay, there you go. So Kay likes the fact that it, ha it has a front and back, like the animal ones. Yeah, yeah, and I like the pumpkin in this set. The pumpkin is the adorable. Pumpkin is in adorable. This. It's just a really cute pumpkin, not at all scary. Yep. All right, send him through. Do -do -do. Here we go. All right. And then you need the oval. Oh, yeah. This one, the smaller one, right? Uh, no, the exact same size. The exact same size. So the size. three. Right? The three? Is that the one? That's the two. I need that one. The three. The three. The three. So. Well, I did the right one the first time. Nope, give me that one back. I am using the two. <laughs> I thought you were using the other side. Okay, so now we're using the, the second largest, <laughs> and this is just a strip from the same DSP pack, and it just looks like little snowflakes or stars, like yeah, a sky or whatever. So I'm going to send that through. I needed some to have a background. Thank you, Kay, for sharing. Thank you. Right. Will you re-show the stamp set again, please? I will. Yes. Hold on one sec. I think I put it behind me. That's why I was looking for it. Okay. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it's over Easy. here. All right. We're back. 
So here is the stamp set. Okay, so, so, all right. So the greetings is bring your friend, being your friend is a real treat. We have a to and from your sweet Merry Christmas and trick or treat. So it covers the whole season um, with adorable, friendly, friendly critters, critters, greetings. Okay. So I got like four things now going on in my head. Oh, okay. So um, you cut two of them. So I cut one. No. Oh no. You only cut one circle. Yep. One circle, one oval. One yep, oval. One oval. So Sorry, I'll show you can't what I even. Do that. Don't know my shapes. Don't That's know how to okay. spell. That's okay. How am I going to teach this second grade? I, how I operate today. So now I'm just going to fussy cut this apart. So I'll start with the front. Boom. One side. And then. Notice there is a little. Um, yeah, there's a place where you tag for your. To, to ribbon. string ribbon through it. Yep, for if you did make it a tag. I think that's going to have to be my tags this year. Yeah. I hand make my tags every year. Oh, there year. you go. All right, so where's my trash? Oh, I'll put it in my coffee. All right, so here we go into the magic. I need my fast fuse. All right, if you need a lesson on fast fuse, you got to, if you missed last Wednesday, last we did a whole lesson on fast fuse. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fast fuse. Barbara Stike is Stike or Stake is yep. um, excited that she can see you because she um, usually doesn't get to see you live. Oh, thank you. She it usually is, is working, but it's summer oh, it's, vacation. Oh, there you go. So I'm using the black thread, and I'm just I got I pulled out a whole bunch, and I'm just going to put it right down the middle here. Um, and it's going to work the second time. Beth wants to know if you label your framelits smallest to largest or largest to smallest. I will tell you what I do. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Once I get my fingers out of the fast fuse. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to attach his backside to the back. So now he is on the string and available for spinning. So all of my layering dies, I don't have the pack, but I'll show you. I have gone through and I lined them all up along my desk, you know, biggest to smallest. And I started with the largest and I took a little Sharpie and I wrote, uh, so all my smooth are one, two, three, one being the largest going all the way down to whatever. My stitch, uh, nope, my scallops. scallop ones are letters. A being the largest and going down so that I can make myself a note that I use 2B, you know, and so I can tell you 3B, whatever I use. I have not labeled my stitch ones yet. It became a conundrum. Do I do letters? Do I do alphabets? Do I do Roman numerals? And then I just never did it. <laughs> um, but that's what I do. Okay. So Barbara says hello. hello. And Sydney shared. And Cindy just arrived. Hello. All and right. And Kay loved your lesson on fast fuse. Thank you. I hope that worked for people. All right. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my thing. Okay. Yes, I, yes. I had a moment I was doing it wrong. Okay. Because getting ahead of myself. So I'm using, this is the perfect application to use all the little edges from your um, dimensionals. So I'm just kind of circling my oval here with dimensionals and Beth likes to use both numbers and numerals. numerals. Yeah. It just kind of makes it easier so I can easily in one number, like two B, I know exactly what I used. Ovals, two B. All right. So that is set to go. Here's our pieces. So here's what I'm going to do. More fast fuse. I'm going to put fast fuse on the top here and fast fuse on the bottom. I'm now going to take my snowman and I'm going to line him up in the middle here. I'm going to stick him down in the fast fuse and then I'm going to use a non Stampin' Up product. It's very illegal scotch tape. And so, what I want to do is take a bit of scotch tape and I'm going to take my snips. 
and I want, and I'm going to put it over the fast fuse, over the thread. And I'm going to use my thumbnail and kind of push the thread down on both sides to kind of hold it there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Just give it that little extra hold from the top into the fast fuse. And this also covers the fast fuse so it doesn't start sticking to, sticking something. to something else. Yep. And, so and it this allows the thread nail. to hang there. Yep. All right. So now that we've done that, I'm going to trim my thread right up to the... Um, it's actually thread. Yes. Yes. She called it string. It's That's actually thread. thread. Sorry. It is... I will show you exactly. There is a... Uh, this is where I'm losing my... Um, Excuse me as I flip through my catalog, like I'm embellishments or ribbons. Where are you? Where are you? There we go, ribbons. So close. Met metallic thread. So it is the black metallic thread, the bottom of page 198. So it's thread. It's real thin. So, and then I'll snip the top. So now he's in there all nice and tight. Um, so now, what do you need? I need my top that I, did I move it? What did I move? This is what I do. I put things oh, down. Oh, this was yesterday for me. Or last Friday. Well, while Gian is looking for the DSP top that I, I thought I set down right on my keyboard, I'm going to do the inside. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Hang so, on. Um, is here someplace where is it on the floor? I don't know. So, okay. So, um, this is the inside. So, Here's the completed card, so I want this on the back. So what I'm going to do, so here's the inside front of my card. I'm going to place this down over the front, just oh, like okay. that, and then I'm going to close my card. So it is like that. So there's the back, and now we're going to look for the DSP front that it's I kind of a book. How, I mean, I it, how could you lose it? Because it had the, the whatchamacallit's on it. And I set it right... Did it go under my desk? No. Okay. All right. This is crazy. Wait a minute. It's here. We are not crazy. You did Live not broadcast. How no, did no we didn't touch us. that? How did I lose that? Lift up your keyboard. It's not under my keyboard. It's not under your keyboard. <laughs> it has dimensionals <laughs> in it. I know. I know. Which is why I think it's stuck to something. Did it stick? Oh. <laughs> it's stuck to my catalog. <laughs> I get. I love it. I, I was like, oh we did not. <laughs> okay. And it's not even, you know, I didn't even really pull the backing off, but a few of them have. Oh, that is so funny. <gasps> oh, it's it, Friday. No, it didn't <laughs> stick to the bottom of the big shot. It was a catalog. Yeah. It's so funny. Yep. Yep. All right. So now I'm going to remove all my. <laughs> and they, they said it was too cute that we were looking. I, I mean. <laughs> well, I figured, I'm like, oh, I'll just move on to the next thing. And Gian will just be like, oh, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> She'd have it found before we, you know, I was done. <laughs> all right. Silly me. So now I'm going to try and line up the two ovals from that oh. we cut earlier. Oh, hold on. I see. Before I do that, I can tell this is going to stick out. So we're going to trim a smidge. So you got to pay attention. To how big this is and where you are. So I guess best, Beth guessed the catalog. Uh, Although I went and looked at that catalog, well, but since she closed because I opened it to find the ribbon and then closed it in on itself, I never found it. Hence the hidden. All right. So well, I certainly did that with my uh, big shot plates I've last week. Yeah, I've done that. All right. Now let's see. Does that hide it? Well, I'm just more. doing a little surgery. Uh, I've got tape. Scotch tape sticking to me. And fast fuse. And it's fast. both. Well, I haven't got the fast fuse sticking to me because it's under the scotch tape. <laughs> All right. Let's we'll see. try this again. All right. There we go. Okay. Yay! Boom. So, what you would do for this card, so if you're going to, when you send it to somebody, before you open it up and you want to spin Mr. Snowman. Oops. I get my nail stuck on it. And so you wind him up so he gets all wound and then you close the card stick it in your envelope so when someone gets it and they're like oh i love the card she sent you open it he starts to spin super duper cute so oh i'm gonna give you back oh so <laughs> oh and I, um, yeah I, I was going for a half hour i'm almost on 50 minutes <laughs> okay 
Okay. Okay. So very quickly, we are going to pick a winner for yes. our enamel dot shapes. Just get in there quick, ladies, because I'm doing it now. Do do do. Whoop box. I gotta log back in, and we'll go over here. Hold on. Post. The computers never play nice when you need them to. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Pick a winner. So now I'm going to bring you over here. Here we go. So I need to come here. You get to enter by commenting, and you get one entry for this choice. So here we go. One, two, three. Boom. And our winner is oh, Janice Spaulding. From New Hampshire. I think you were our first commenter t today. <laughs> yes, you were. She was. And she's got a Patriots logo. You know it. She's Tom Brady's birthday was yesterday. You turned 40. <laughs> so, congratulations, Janice. Fill out my form on my website. Thank you all for joining us today. We will be back on Wednesday. You're coming with, back on Wednesday? I will be in Nova Scotia. She's going to be in Nova Scotia on I vacation. So, so it'll be me, myself, and I. And I don't even have a kid to rope in because they're both going different directions. So thank you, everybody, so much. I'll be back. I will attempt to read all your comments. To, and if I don't, I will answer them afterwards. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.